Hey guys, what is going on? Steve Lemo here. So today I'm going to be posting a quick video on how you can get your hands on the fire bow for Derizon Jack on Black Ops 3 Zombies. I've noticed a lot of people online having troubles getting this bow and some of the videos I've watched have wrong information making it rather confusing. So I'm just going to show you guys how I personally get the bow and hopefully this can help you guys out. If you enjoy the video, drop a like and above all, thanks for watching. Alright, so before we get into this, make sure you have the Wrath of the Ancients bow. Got it? Good. Alright, so step one, we're going to need to make our way on over to the clock tower. You should see a red symbol painted on the wall where the clock should be held. Shoot the symbol and the wall should break open, revealing your broken arrow. Pick this arrow up and you will now be able to start your quest. Step two, you will need to make your way on over to the rock yard and patiently wait for a test fire to go off. This may take a while, so I recommend practicing the shot you're about to make. You will only get one shot to hit your target once the test fire has ended. Some people claim they've got it on their second or third arrow shot. It never works for me unless I nail it on my very first arrow though. So in this video, I'm going to say you're going to need to nail it on your first shot taken. Anywho, once the test fire goes off, make your way into the bunker for safety. I suggest standing close to the door and getting ready for the shot you're about to take. Once the door opens, you're going to run out and look to the right. You should see a rock lit up. On this rock, there's going to be a red little circle you have to hit with an arrow. If done correctly, the rock should explode and you should get an indication saying the step is complete. Alright, step 3. Now we're going to need to activate the three fire ritual circles. This is where you're going to be able to show off your green arrow or Robin Hood like skill. You get these circles by hitting the targets with an arrow from the Wrath of an Ancient's Bow, right after being in mid-air from hitting one of the jump pads. If done correctly, you will hear a sound indicating that you hit it. Also, the target that you intended to hit will stay lit up. This can be one of the hardest steps for getting the fire bow, so I'm just going to show you how I like to hit these targets and hopefully that can help you out if this is the part that you were stuck on. First, I shoot an arrow and line up my shot to where the targets are. Once I feel confident in the shot, I take it and as quick as I can, I hit and activate the jump pad. This is the method I use just because it can save you a lot of time and money doing it this way. If done correctly, you will hear your sound indication saying that you got it. Also, the circle will stay lit up. If you have any troubles with any of these shots, maybe go into a two-player game and get a friend to stand on the targets. You will be able to see your partner's silhouette, making it easier to hit the intended target. Also, they will be able to direct you on how close your shots are. Besides that, all I can really say is save up some money because this is going to take some practice. But, if you do it the way that you see in the gameplay, with practice, you will be able to hit these targets every time, all the time. <laughs> Step 4. Now we're going to charge those three ritual rings that are lit up. The ones that you hit with your Robin Hood level 11 skill. You charge each ring up by killing a certain amount of zombies inside the ring. That's right, you yourself have to actually be inside the ritual ring. Once you leave the ring, you will lose your red aura and any zombie you kill will not actually get sacrificed towards that ritual ring. Once the ritual ring has received enough zombies, it will shoot its energy into the fireball above you and you can move on to the next ritual ring. Rinse and repeat these steps for ritual ring 2 and 3. Once completed, you're going to get an indication from the fire bow's completion wheel, allowing you to move on to the next step. Remember, you're not on a time limit here, so primarily your goal is to just stay alive and get your kills, so make sure you play smart. Step 5. You're going to need to make your way on over to the clock tower where you originally started this quest. Go up to the clock, depending on your console you're playing on, hit either square or X. The clock should start spinning. Once it is done, it will reveal one of the possible three Apothecan symbols at the 12 o'clock position. The symbol is very important and you will need it for step 6. Also keep in mind that the symbol changes from game to game so you won't always have the same symbol. On the map there's three fireplaces, I'm just going to show you where they are right now. Your Apothecan symbol will correspond with one of these three fireplaces around the map. Just take a quick lap around the map, looking inside each fireplace and seeing which fireplace matches with the symbol that you have that game. Once you've found your fireplace, we can now start step 6. Step 
Alright, step 6. Once you've found the fireplace that matches with your Apothecan symbol, take a swift look at the three ritual circles. One of them will be lit up. The ring that is lit up is where you will have to start. The objective is, with four arrows, you will have to progressively move to the fireplace starting at the ritual ring. Once in the ring, you will get an aura. Once the shot is taken and hits the ground, it will spawn in a rock. You must stand in this rock to get your aura again, letting you shoot your second and third arrow. Once you're close enough to the fireplace, you will be able to shoot your last arrow inside the fireplace. If done correctly, the fireplace will start on fire and spawn in a max ammo. Step 7. Okay, so you're almost there. Once you've grabbed your broken arrow from the fireplace, come back up to the roof and the fireball should be within your reach. Next, you're going to have to give the fireball your broken arrow and it is going to reforge the arrow with its fire energy. You do this by jumping up and hitting X over the fireball. This will cause it to float up in the sky and explode, leaving your fixed reforged arrow. Pick up the arrow and we can move on to the last step. Okay, last and final step here, make your way on down to the pyramid room. Place your new arrow down on the fire bow table. Once you place it down, you will spawn in a max ammo. You need to get about 20 to 30 zombies sacrificed to your fire bow table. You will know your table is receiving souls when you see the red orbs going to the fire bow table. Once you've got enough souls, go up to the table with the wrath of the ancient's bow, hit either square or X depending on the console you're playing on, and your bow should get placed on the table. If not, you will just need a few more souls to get a sacrifice onto your table. So do not worry, just get a few more zombie kills and eventually it'll come. Once your bow is able to be put onto the table, give it a few seconds and it should come back as the upgraded fire bow. Pick this thing up and literally destroy anything in your path. This bow is really powerful and if used right, it can be a very awesome upgrade. If this video helped you guys out in any way, make sure to drop a like and above all, thanks for watching.